Let's take an element, carbon. If you cut it into smaller pieces, finally you would have the smallest piece of carbon or a single carbon atom. Then you can split that into protons, neutrons and electrons. But sadly, it will not be carbon anymore. So where does this lead us to? The definition of an atom. An atom is the smallest piece of the substance that can still be recognized as that element. So atoms can be joined together to make molecules. A molecule is made up of two or more atoms chemically bonded. Unlike compounds, a molecule can be made of atoms from the same or different element. So the structure of the atom. Here in the nucleus, the protons and neutrons are present while the electrons move around in the orbitals. The properties of the subatomic particles are as follows. Protons have a relative mass of 1 and a relative charge of plus 1. A neutron also has a relative mass of 1, but since it is neutral, its relative charge is 0. Electrons have a relative mass of 1 over 1836 and a relative charge of minus 1. Moving on, the number of protons in an atom's nucleus is known as the atomic number or proton number. Each element has a different atomic number. The mass number or the nucleon number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Next, the number of neutrons in an atom can vary slightly. Isotopes are atoms of the same element which have the same number of protons but different neutrons. In other words, the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.